Israeli warships have been patrolling Gaza's 40-kilometer coastline and threatening any Palestinian fishing boat that enters into the area beyond 3 nautical miles from the seashore. Shooting fishermen has become routine. Each one of these desperate fishermen has a story to tell. Ahmed has managed to film with his mobile phone what happened to him along with many fishermen and solidarity activists in the Mediterranean Sea. Israeli gunboats open fire if we go beyond the three-mile limit. We cannot go fishing within this limit. They know that we are poor and we have to feed our families this way, but they keep harassing us. Many fishermen have been abducted recently and taken to Israeli ports, and some of them have been asked to become Israeli informants. Israel claims that fishing boats are being used to smuggle weapons, a claim is strongly rejected by fishermen. They uh, asked him to uh, to be cooperate with the Israeli security. They uh, asked them about Shalit. They put high pressure about for on the uh, fishermen people. Uh, the fishermen, uh, Palestinian, only they going to feed their family. International pro-Palestinian activists were also attacked and injured, while showing solidarity with the fishermen. Victor was badly injured in his back on November 18 last year when an Israeli warship used water cannon to force them back to the seashore. Andrew and Ali, my friend of international solidarity moment, we were with uh, some Palestinian fishermen about uh, five uh, miles from uh, the coast and uh, we were under attack. Under the Oslo Accord signed in 1993, Palestinian fishermen are allowed to sail up to 20 nautical miles from the Gaza seashore after the latest offensive, which inflicted about $10 million in damage on the fishing sector, Israel unilaterally reduced this limit to only three miles. Over the past nine years, Israeli naval forces have killed six Palestinian fishermen, injured dozens, and damaged tens of their boats. The international community today must intervene immediately to end the suffering, to stop the Israeli attacks, to end the siege on the Gaza Strip, there are about 3,500 officially registered Gazan fishermen and 700 fishing boats, in addition to 20,000 people who indirectly depend on fishing sector. Israeli naval attacks against Gaza fishermen continue despite ceasefire, depriving them of their only profession. The sea blockade and siege imposed on Gaza are being tightened following the Israeli 22-day war on Gaza, having paralyzed all aspects of life. Yusuf Al-Hulu, Press TV, Gaza Seaport.